Hey there! My name's Ren and May Humbucker, and you're watching The New Bold Ladies in Surreal Estate, Shark's Tundra. That's the second season of Surreal Estate with New Bold Ladies. I'm one of the New Bold Ladies. I'm one of the, I'm the builder. Now, this episode, we gotta get some houses built, and then Nan's gotta sell them. The Burley Brothers, that's my building crew of eight brothers who's genies. Genies. G-E-N-I-E. -E. That's hard for me to say a text. Genies. Yeah. Uh, they're building the house this time around. It's in their very unusual way. <laughs> you don't ever actually see them building nothing. You just see them standing around chit-chatting, but somehow it magically appears. I mean, literally, it magically appears. So, I narrated this episode, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you're doing good. This has been Ren and May Humbucker. God bless you. Enjoy the episode. Alright, here are the Burley Brothers heading over to the site to start working. This is property that is not... <laughs> Well, it's vacant. There ain't nobody interested in it yet, but we have all these blank platforms and we just thought we'd start building on them and um, we'll see what happens. But we like this site. It's a little different. It's got, um, I think it's got a beautiful view. Anyway, so here's all the boys, all eight of the brothers, all... All them genies. <laughs> this is very interesting. And they're going to start getting to work. Well, I should say continue working because obviously they got the, the some drywall in there. So that fella with the perp in the purple and white, that's Lionel. And the red plaid fella is Thorn. I'm having, I'm finally starting to learn their names. It's embarrassing. The Chigblar Wibsville. Hegel Mixafoy. Azubel. Jessa Wimafet. Chornduza. Zapdeen Amabat. Adawanaka Zabzu Mizzle North. Of course, I do know Shat. Somehow, I just remember him. I guess he's the most distinctive looking one to me. There he is in the background watching these two gossip on, on the clock. But he's guilty of the same thing. I don't know. Somehow, the work just gets done. It's almost like. You don't actually see him doing the work. It's like you, they need to sleep or something, and it manifests while they're in meditation. I mean, they're genies. So it's a totally different di way of, of yeah. working. Yeah. So mostly they stand well, around and chit-chat, and yes. then they take a nap, and Aren't while the while they're napping, <laughs> the house builds itself uh -huh. or something. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I'm i just so 3D. <laughs> And they're, they're 5D, that's for sure. But the one thing they can't seem to fix is this leaky all-in-one bathroom. That's alright, it's just temporary. But you see, we got walls, they got some lighting done. I didn't see anybody doing that or even starting to do that. Did you? No. Just gets done somehow. It's like it's allowed. To, do, to be done. This house wants to build itself and the genies somehow have the energy. They can transmute the energy so that they can allow this to happen. See, now they're sleeping. And when he gets up, more has been done. What can I say? <laughs> Somehow, that is the same all-in-one toilet that was downstairs. And when he went up to take his nap, it was downstairs. So he must have manifested it 
in his sleep and moved it upstairs and it, it teleported itself. I don't know. What can I tell you? I'm just a gal from Texas. <laughs> Now I just wish he could fix the leaking. <laughs> well, that that's going to be where a bathroom is going to go. So we just figure quick. I guess he figured he put the bathroom where it's supposed to be. And there ain't much electricity yet. Dribs and drabs. So there's sort of lanterns where there's no no wiring yet. And he headed out, and this is Spike. And I understand they're pretty good friends. Spike and Shep get along well. Meanwhile, back at home, here's my sister Fox, and Daphne's doing some laundry there. And Fox is in her happy place, doing her her business, her filing, and her planner, and all that, and looking at the some blueprints, and collating. She's an excellent businesswoman. Shy as can be. And an excellent, excellent businesswoman. Don't ask me what she's doing there. Must be some sort of contract that you got to sign or make several copies sign. Oh, there should be staple something. So I'm about to head over to the site and do some inspecting and probably some cleaning because you got to keep them sites clean for safety issues. And that's my Galaxa. I love my Galaxa. I didn't much care for the feller who gave it to me. Oh, there's that feller. Oh, what's his name? Daryl Fenton, that cute little fairy boy. That's just going home there in the yellow house. Daryl Fenton. Now these houses, uh, they seem to appeal to fairies, and I believe it's because fairies aren't used to living in human housing, so they ain't got no furnishings or nothing. So, bearing in mind that it's probably going to be a fair family that moves in here, um, Foxy likes to have the houses partially furnished, just to help them out a little bit, and, and you, you know, not charge them Charge them a little more because they are partially furnished, but, you know, there's nothing worse than moving into a house that ain't got no furniture. You've got no money for furniture. I mean, you just barely had enough to make the down payment, so, you know, we just try to help them out. Ain't nothing fancy, mind, but, it, you know, it's a place to, to sleep as soon as you arrive. I mean, you pretty much, you buy the home, and once you got the keys, you have a bed. You don't have to struggle finding a bed to sleep in, too. So that means that saves you the money you would spend in a hotel. You can buy your bed with, maybe. So we just try to help people out a little bit. <coughs> so it is the first day of mm. spring, so I want to sit out and enjoy this beautiful starry night. Uh, mm. Looks like the Burley Brothers made a little bit of a mess. I see some mm. crushed soda cans they left behind. Unfortunately, the trash mm. is way downstairs. <laughs> but that's all right. So all these furnishings, they're going to be a gift to the new family. Even if it ain't fairies. Uh, yeah, I'll keep, I think we'll probably let them keep the radio too. Why not? So really, I just was cleaning up and looking around, trying to get some ideas, what might need to be changed, what looks good, craftsmanship, all that. And then I'll let them know how I think they're doing. So I'm just kind of inspecting, really. And tomorrow we got some more deliveries coming in, and I think Shep's going to come over here and Wait around for the liver fellers and maybe do a little more, do some painting and uh, 
you know, get keep getting things set up and all of that. Now these lights, these were a mistake. We rented from this party place and said, oh yeah, we got lights on the pole for you. And shoot, these look like disco lights, but well, they're still lights. <laughs> it's not quite what we had in mind, but it they do illuminate somewhat. It's better than the lanterns anyway, but we'll have to find some better work light. I reckon we'll take the lanterns with us because the house will be wired. One last thing to throw out. And I've been invited to a party by the Parrot Brothers. I think that's tonight. Might be tomorrow night. But I'm looking forward to going out and socializing a bit. Hopefully I'll be able to change clothes before I get over there. Or they're going to see me just like this. <laughs> In my hard hat. I noticed this thing was stinking, so... I ain't much on cleaning, but I can do it when I need to. Them Burley Brothers sure ain't gonna clean it. Except maybe with their magic. I believe they can automatically make something clean with magic. But I'll just beat them to it, because I gotta use it anyway. When I come out, I hear this funny sound, and I decided I should investigate it. And I couldn't believe what I seen. Look at these crazy lights. Meanwhile, back home, we've got some work to do. <laughs> Daphne's fixing it, though. Box is cleaning up. Then Rainy decided she was going to make us some grilled cheese sandwiches. They were thoughtful. However... <laughs> it's all right, Rainy. You meant well. Nobody was hurt. So here's Shep come over to wait for some deliveries. And wait. <laughs> now then people that won't come in. If it's a fair fan, whoever, that dining set's for them and they can have the lantern and the nice light. Of course, it's light. I mean, it's wired into the wall. But yeah, they can have a lantern. You know, so they can just have a nice, an, an easier first night in a brand new house. <laughs> and now here's the party. And there's Chef, and there's me right back there. Take care, y'all. This has been Ray and Mae.